How do you talk about your emotions in English? My name's Michael Anton. I'm an English communication coach, and it's my goal to help you speak English confidently, clearly, and fluently. In today's video, I'm going to teach you six different idioms you can use to talk about your emotions and express how you're feeling. This is obviously a very important topic, so let's get right into the video and look at the first idiom, which is to blow off steam. What does it mean to blow off steam? To blow off steam is an idiom which means to get rid of or to release stress or anger. Now let's look at a couple example sentences with this idiom. Number one, after a long day at work, he likes to go for a run to blow off steam and relax. You could also say something like, the woman decided to paint to blow off steam and de-stress. Okay, the second idiom on our list is to get butterflies in your stomach. You might have heard this idiom before, but to get butterflies in your stomach means to get nervous or excited. For example, before her piano recital, she got butterflies in her stomach because she was nervous. She was nervous to perform, so she got butterflies in her stomach. You can also use this in a romantic context. For example, Jack got butterflies in his stomach every time he saw Jessica. He got nervous, he got excited, he got butterflies in his stomach. Great idiom. Now our third idiom is to feel down. To feel down means to feel sad or unhappy. For example, she felt down when her best friend moved to a different city. She felt sad. She felt unhappy. She felt down. Or you could say something like, when it rains, I always feel down because I can't go outside to walk. I feel down. I feel sad. All right, before we move on to the next idioms on our list, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're finding this video helpful. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My username on both is English at the ready. I have a lot of exciting things to come in the future, so make sure to follow me there so you don't miss anything. Now let's get on with the video and look at the next idiom on our list. To walk on eggshells. What does it mean to walk on eggshells? Simply put, when you walk on eggshells, you're very careful with what you say because you're worried about the consequences. You're worried about what's going to happen. For example, you might have to walk on eggshells and be careful with what you say at work if you have a colleague you don't trust. Or if someone gets angry easily, you might walk on eggshells when talking to them because you don't know how they're going to react. So when you walk on eggshells, you're careful with what you say because you're worried about what might happen if you do say it. You're being very cautious. Now the next idiom on our list is very simple, very straightforward, and that's to be all ears. So what does it mean to be all ears? When you're all ears, it means you're listening very carefully and you're paying attention. For example, if someone's telling you a story and you're very interested in it, you could say, I'm all ears. I'm listening. Or if your friend is telling you about a problem, you could tell him, I'm all ears. I'm listening to your problem. I'm listening to what you have to say. I'm all ears. Very useful idiom. And that brings us to the sixth and last idiom on our list, which is a roller coaster of 
emotions. What is a roller coaster of emotions? Basically, when you feel a lot of different emotions in a short period of time, we could say you're experiencing a roller coaster of emotions. You're experiencing many emotions very quickly. Maybe something's happened and you're surprised, you're sad, you're angry, and then maybe you're happy. We'd call that a roller coaster of emotions. Okay, those were six different idioms you can use to talk about your emotions and express how you feel. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future lessons. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My username on both is English at the ready. I have some exciting updates in the very near future. Make sure to go follow me there so you don't miss anything. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.